Hi, my name is Rhea Caballeda from BSN2 Wayland Bank. And today, I'm gonna perform cold therapy. Reviewing the order validates the correct patient and correct procedure. Preparation promotes efficient time management and provides an organized approach to the task. This ensures the right patient receives the right intervention. Individual differences exist in tolerating specific therapies. Discussion and explanation help allay anxiety, encourage cooperation, and prepare the patient for what to expect. Assessment supplies baseline data for post-treatment comparison and identifies any conditions that may contraindicate the application. Hand hygiene prevents the spread of microorganisms. Closing the door or curtain provides privacy. Patient positioning and use of bat blanket provide for comfort and warmth. Waterproof pad protects the patient and the bed linens. Ice provides a cold surface. Excess air interferes with cold conduction. Fastening the end prevents leaks. The cover protects the skin and absorbs condensation. Proper positioning ensures the cold therapy to the specific area of the body. These actions prevent burn injury. Wrapping or taping stabilizes the device in the proper location. Assessment of the patient's skin necessary for early detection of adverse effects, thereby allowing prompt intervention to avoid complications. Limiting the time of application prevents injury due to overexposure to cold. Prolonged application of cold may result in decreased blood flow with resulting tissue ischemia. A compensatory vasodilation or rebound phenomenon may occur as a means to provide warmth to the area. Dressing provides protection to the skin. Hand hygiene deters the spread of microorganisms. Thank you for